Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Elrinth, the first boss, and today I'll teach you guys how to use bitmap fonts in Godot. We'll also apply some shader to the text. Our goal is to achieve a similar effect to Castlevania Symphony of the Night, the level up effect for this world there. Anyways, let's start a new Godot project here. Create new and put it into the, our Godot folder there and call it bitmap, we can call it. And in case you don't already have prepared a bitmap font, uh, you can download one from the link I provide down in the description. So let's download this font here, put it into our game folder. Go. Then when you've downloaded the file, you can open it in your favorite uh, image editor. I'm using GIMP. And to the right here, there's a nice font called IBM PC BIOS. I really like this font. Let's copy this. And then you paste that as a new image. There we go. We got the font there. Zoom in a bit. Uh, select by color and delete. So now we remove the background so we have can have transparent background to the font. And then you export it as a PNG to your game folder. Go. And let's call it uh, IBM font or something. Now, when you're creating your own font, make sure it's squared like this and all the characters are in this order as well, else it's gonna be problematic. Okay, so now we go to our Godot project. We can see we have the new IBM font here. We go to import and here we select font data and in this character range, drag out this ranges. You click this and you click add element and then you write 0 127. And we have 16 characters width in wide and 16 characters in height. And then you click re import. Okay, so now our font is done. Now we can use this font. So let's add a rich text label. Uh, we can put it somewhere center here. And we can write something, testing, make it a bit wider. Also, if you have BB code enabled, you can do something like this, center, center. Now we apply our font. You click down here in the theme and select new theme. And here in the default font, you simply drag the IBM font PNG. There we go. We are using now our font, but you see it's sort of blurry. And to solve that, we go to project, project settings, and here under the general tab, down, down under the rendering textures part, there's a default texture filter, linear default in Godot. We put that to nearest neighbor. So now you can see it's fixed. So linear nearest neighbor. Very nice. And now if you want to colorize the text you wrote, you can use the modulate and you can do like this. Let's say I want red text. So now we're done with the bitmap font part. So now you can type pretty much anything here. Uh, let's remove the center one and uh, hello, robot fellows. Okay, so now let's say we want to apply a shader to this. So, then we need to add a canvas group. And put our rich text label inside of it. Now we can apply the shader to this canvas group. We click here on material, new shader material. And here in the shader, you click new shader. Let's just use uh, font. ED shader. Okay. And then you open it up by clicking here. 
and now I've prepared a font, um, a swirl shader for this. So you can download that on the link down in the description from Pastebin. And we simply paste it here. Oops, that's the link. I want to paste the actual code. Uh, so copy, paste into the shader. There we go. And we save the scene as well. So now you can see it's. You can use the shader parameters here to the right and rotate the text. But if you see, if I apply too much rotation, let's say four, you see it starts clipping. This is because the canvas group is only the size of the um, content inside of it. So we need to add a. We can add a texture. This is one way you can do it. You can do it in multiple ways, but I'm using the texture rex. It's a fast way to solve it. And you can make that texture rect rectangle the size of the screen. And then you add a texture to it. Uh, I'm going to go with a new gradient texture uh, 1D. And we are going to make that texture transparent. So we click here in the gradient and select it to be transparent. There we go. So now we can apply that shader for the whole rectangle. Nice, huh? And that's how you create a shadered text in Godot. 3.4, I think it is. Let's see which version. 4.3, 4 yeah. 4.3, sorry. And if you want to, like, uh, you can do an animation for this if you want to. Animation player. Then you can add an animation for swirl in. Maybe you can just do like this. Okay, the parameter. Yeah, here. You click this uh, key here. Create. Now you created a. Uh, let's go with two seconds. So zero rotation in the beginning, and uh, let's go with uh, like so in the end. Now you can play that animation, Oop. and you can also um, with it being sort of semi-transparent at the beginning and uh, sort of uh, become uh, more visible after a while. So let's start at value zero, and it fades in. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it for the uh, solution here. And if you like my content, please uh, subscribe. Uh, I'll be posting more about my game, uh, Skull Keys. Uh, I'm using this uh, shader text in my own game. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye!